friend's cousin passed away and he left him something in his will. Boy, I hope it's edible. And there's lots of it. John Arbuckle. We've been waiting for you. Do come in. Thanks. I'm Mr. Connors. I'm the attorney representing the estate of your cousin Ichabod. I hope we're in time for the reading of the will. We've been waiting for you. Is Doc Boy here yet? Your brother is here and waiting for the will. He does ask that people not address him as Doc Boy. I'll try very hard to respect his wishes. Doc Boy, Doc Boy, Doc Boy! <laughs> Don't call me Doc Boy. Okay, Doc Boy. That's John trying very hard to respect his brother's wishes. Gentlemen, it is sad that your cousin Ichabod has left us. He was the greatest guy in the whole world. He was a prince among men. Did you ever meet him? No. Did you? Your cousin left an estate worth a fortune. He also left his will in the form of this DVD he recorded. <laughs> Left his will? As a DVD? Couldn't we just watch cartoons instead? Hello to my relatives. If you're watching this DVD, then I'm cool. But I wanted to make this for you, John and Doc Boy. Don't call me Doc Boy. As you probably know, my estate is worth a fortune. Since I never got to meet either of you, I couldn't decide which one of you should inherit it. How about leaving it to a cat? So I decided to come up with a test. A test to see which of you was the bravest and therefore the most deserving. Some people say my house is haunted. <laughs> well, maybe it is. I want you two to stay here. Whichever of you lasts the longest gets my fortune. The first one to leave is out of the will and he gets nothing. <gasps> Have a nice night, and watch out for ghosts. <laughs> Those are the terms of the will. Please come with me. <gasps> you can stay in this room. John will be down the hall. He was kidding about the ghost stuff, right? Yeah. Uh, we always heard Cousin Ichabod like playing tricks on people. I'm just the lawyer. I enforce the rules, but, um, and just between us, even for a million dollars, I wouldn't spend one night in this house. Ah! I'm starting to feel that way myself. Well, John, looks like we're really, um, spending the night in a haunted house. Yeah. Well, at least it isn't dark and all stormy with lightning and thunder. Wow, you have a great future as a weatherman on television. Well, maybe we should go to our room. Yeah, uh, hey, is it okay if uh, Odie keeps me company, John? <laughs> if he wants. Good night. <laughs> This is a nice room. We have a nice bed, a private bathroom, a TV set. What more could anyone want? <laughs> oh, right. Food. There's scarier things than ghosts, like lack of dinner. If you want food, Garfield, you're going to have to go find it. You mean alone? Hey, don't worry. I'll find some food to put in you. <laughs> Did you hear something, Odie? <laughs> there are moments in this world that call for bravery. <sighs> that was tough. But no one will be able to get in here. Uh-huh. Yes, but now no one can get out!
There must be a kitchen in this place somewhere. like me because I don't eat them. Hey guys, I'm lost. Uh, could you tell me where the master bedroom is? Or better still, the kitchen. Those are mice. Those are bats. I was wrong. You can get out. You are looking for that handsome pussycat. He went that way. I won't hurt you, little dog. Woody, what are you running from? <laughs> you know, Woody. That's a very good thing to run from. Watch how I do it. Odie? Garfield? Doc Boy? For now. Biddle will catch us if we, that is, if I don't come up with a brilliant plan. <laughs> I think I lost them. I bet that's the guy behind all this. I recognize those sounds of pain. Doc Boy! Are you okay? Doc Boy, speak to me! Oh, poor Doc Boy. Don't call me Doc Boy! <laughs> okay, keep it steady, Odie. This is gonna be great. I'm an yeah. evil ghost here to scare you. Boo! Boo! Come on, be scared. Why aren't you scared? Uh, oops, <laughs> looks like I'm a naked ghost. You can't get out! You're trapped! <laughs> there must be something we can do. This suit of armor thing, it does everything I do. Watch this. <laughs> Nowhere to run. No way out. Ooh. 
I figured it out, Odie. These are robot ghosts like in an amusement park. All except for this guy, who must be the guy behind it all. He set it all up to scare John and his brother out of the house so he could keep Cousin Ichabod's fortune. Really? Yeah, I learned this kind of thing watching cartoons on television. And now, for the unmasking. It has to be that lawyer guy. Huh? It can't be. But it is. Cousin, Cousin Ichabod. Ichabod. The reading of the will. We thought you were gone. Fooled you, didn't I? <laughs> I couldn't figure out which one of you would get my estate. So I set this up as a little test. Well, don't keep us in suspense. Yeah, who won? Neither of you. Did you were both too cowardly. I told you, leave everything to a cat. See you later, cousins. <laughs> Boy, the looks on your cowardly faces. Watch this. Ah! No, it has not been a waste of time, because I'm going to get something useful out of it. Huh? Oh, oh, oh. hello, Lord. Ah, wonderful, wonderful. Oh. This is better than a mansion and a fortune any day. Ha, oh, oh, right there, right there. Ooh. 